who doesn't have fast food more than they should? It's cheap, easy, and let's be honest, it tastes so good. Nothing to eat in your house? Fast food. Feeling too lazy to cook? Fast food. Feeling down? Fast food. Fast food is so addicting. And while having some once in a while won't hurt you, if you have too much, it can definitely have consequences on your health. So today I'm going to be talking about the real consequences of fast food on your body. First of all, what is fast food? Fast food is a processed food that is prepared easily and eaten quickly. In most cases, it's also junk food, meaning that it's highly processed, high in calories, and low in nutrients. Even if some healthy fast food options are emerging, such as salad bars, for example, the majority of fast foods are still pretty bad. So now, how does fast food really affect your body? First of all, fast food affects your digestive system. Fast food is often loaded with carbs, carbohydrates. Now don't get me wrong, the right type of carbs are absolutely good for your health. And if you want to learn more about that and learn the truth about carbs, then you can check out the video I made about that right here. With that being said, the ones found in fast food aren't that great. They often come from sugars, added sugars, and they can make your glucose and insulin levels spike. Good carbs often contain fiber, which slows down the absorption of the glucose. And also fiber is great for your gut health, your bowel health, and everything like that. But guess which foods don't contain fiber? fast food. Anything that's like a hamburger, a sundae, fries, no fiber there. A lack of fiber can cause inflammation, stomach pain, constipation, and it can also drastically reduce your healthy gut bacteria. If you want to avoid this, make sure that you check out the video I made about the top foods rich in fiber here or in the description. Another negative effect of fast food is that it can cause bloating and high blood pressure. Most fast foods contain too much sodium from all of the added salt to make them tastier. However, this can cause bloating, puffiness, as it causes water retention. And worse, ingesting too much salt can have more severe consequences such as causing high blood pressure. And this can be a risk factor for heart disease. You shouldn't consume more than 5 grams of salt or 2 grams of sodium a day, and most people easily consume double that amount. And a fast food meal can have your entire day's worth of sodium. The third impact fast food has on your health is that it increases your risk for heart disease. Fast food consumption has been shown to increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Again, if you want the sources for all of this, you can check out my blog post that I will be putting in the description. Fast food is often loaded in fats and not the healthy kind of fats, but it often has some trans fats which can lower the good HDL cholesterol and make the unhealthy LDL cholesterol higher. This is a risk factor for heart disease because the bad LDL cholesterol can build up in your arteries and then you won't be able to get enough blood to your heart. Fast food is often very high in saturated fats. These kind of fats are usually seen as unhealthy because they raise cholesterol levels. However, a study found that they weren't necessarily associated with increased heart disease. And a review of studies showed that reducing your consumption of saturated fats didn't really have an effect on different health factors. However, replacing these saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats is apparently a useful strategy. So while saturated fats aren't the devil, it's better not to consume too much of them. Fast food is also linked to type 2 diabetes. As I mentioned before, it contains too many refined carbs and trans fats. The fat can bind to insulin receptors and prevent them from opening correctly. And also the excess sugar can become way too much to handle because after producing more and more insulin in hopes of getting all of that glucose in, your pancreas can just no longer keep up the pace. 
And this can lead to insulin resistance, meaning that either your pancreas just can't keep producing enough insulin or that your body just won't acknowledge the signals of insulin telling it to put glucose into your cells anymore and this can cause a rise of your blood sugar levels and then type 2 diabetes. The fifth effect of fast food on your body is that it contributes to obesity. Studies have often linked the consumption of fast food to weight gain and obesity. And there are a few reasons why eating fast food can make you gain weight. First, these foods are often very calorie dense and the portion size is excessive. You can really eat like two burgers or burgers with like two steaks, have a can of Coke, have a sundae, have a big portion of fries, and you can eat all of that in only a few minutes. And yet, you'll be getting half your day's worth of calories, if not more. While you'll certainly feel full right after, the feeling probably won't last because there are very few nutrients in these types of fast food and your body will soon start to be craving some nourishment. Like I mentioned previously, fast food also lacks fiber and fiber fills up some space in your stomach and slows down digestion, which helps you feel fuller for longer. So what's going to happen is that you are going to be very hungry when your next meal comes along and you're actually likely to overeat during that meal as well. Fast food is also bad for our gut microbiome, so our healthy bacteria. And studies have shown the link between maintaining a healthy gut bacteria and maintaining a healthy weight. And finally, these foods are super addicting. So the more you eat, the more you'll crave them and the more weight you'll gain. And this is just an endless cycle. And also they're cheap and convenient. So this really fuels this cycle as well. So it comes as no surprise that fast food isn't really the healthiest option. It impacts your digestive system, it causes bloating, it's a risk factor for heart disease and diabetes, and it can cause weight gain. So now you know the actual facts behind the fact that fast food is bad for you. However, I do want to mention that having fast food once in a while is absolutely fine. Everybody does it. You can have perfectly healthy balanced meals most of the time and then have some fast food. Your body will handle it just fine. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye!